mm -hmm. paragraph. Mm -hmm. You're wasting time. You need to summarize and know exactly what you're looking for. So then when you go to your answers, you know in your head exactly what you're looking for. That's why mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Let me look for animals. Let me look for inner organs. I got a list of animals and the supporting mm -hmm. thing, sentence number two right here. Now, they were talking about sacrifices, but they're not talking about yet what they do with the inner organs. <gasps> now, mm -hmm. like I told you, very easy to find the word I and mm -hmm. are. So right here, inner organs, what did they do with them? However, the inner organs, such as the heart and liver, those are two organs, were burned. Holy fuck, they burned the organs rather than eaten. Why? As they were reserved for the gods. Okay, so here we go. What did they do with the inner organs? They burned them to reserve them for the gods. That's what's going to be in my answer. Now, mm. if you look at A, it says they cooked and ate them. Ah, wrong. Mm -hmm. Right? Because they burned them and they kept them for the gods. Mm -hmm. If you look at B, they sacrificed them on altars. Ah, wrong. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because they burned them and they were, they let, like, they kept them for the gods. See, they completely burned them. Oh, I love that. And mm -hmm. then D says they disposed them during festivals. Now, another competency. We already know the answer, but another competency. With this inner organs right here and coming down to this sentence, that's the only place you're looking. You don't have to read the paragraph. You don't okay. got to read the paragraph. So if we actually look at this and you were to say, okay, however, the inner organs such as the heart and liver were burned. That's the only place you need to look. So does it say anything about cooking and eating? No. Does it say anything about mm -hmm. altars and B? No. Does it say anything about festivals? In this sentence right over here, no, no, no. That is your other competency, which is the process of elimination. When you know what you're looking for, it makes it a hell of a lot easier, right? Yes. So, boom, C would be your answer, without a doubt, okay? No doubt at all. Does that make mm -hmm. sense, Melania? What do you think about that? Yes. Um, I was, um, when I was doing the test, I read the whole paragraph oh. instead of instead mm -hmm. of looking for the keyword right and even and, and there are a lot of people out there too because when i saw your score i was like okay she's probably reading but there are a lot of people out there like wiki marina all those other tutors whatever they always say look for the keyword but they never give you perspective in terms of looking for it and understanding what you're looking for and summarizing in your head what needs to be in your answer when you do that, it's going to be very easy for you to eliminate three answers, mm -hmm. right? It's always, okay, look for the key. You know, a lot of people, right? Look mm -hmm. for the keywords, okay? When you find the keywords, go to your answers. Ah, you're not even diving into the competencies. That you're, That's not mm -hmm. really going to help you. Anyone could say that. A teacher in second grade could say the same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so, right. oh boy. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's keep it going. Okay. St. Sophia Cathedral. That's very easy to find. Again, it's in paragraph two. So stupid. Was built mm -hmm. smaller than originally planned. Ah, so why was it built smaller? That's mm -hmm. what I'm So we're going to go to this paragraph number two. We're going to find Sophia Cathedral in Russia. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look for words that relate to the size and so if you scan over here, there's nothing. There's nothing here. But right over here, it says, settle on a smaller design. Now, Melania, mm -hmm. you know exactly where you're looking for. So why was Sophia built smaller? Now, it says here to make a, oh, here we go. We may have to look before instead of after. So let's check this out. Mm -hmm. and, Empress Catherine the Great had long desired to make a copy of Hagia Sophia, but on account of tremendous expenses, there it is. Mm -hmm. That's the so, reason. Right? That's the reason. So in our answer, it has to be related to money. Money, money, mm -hmm. money, money. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you're probably saying, whoa, 
Arsenio, but you stopped yourself right here at Charles Cameron. And instead of looking after, something told you to look before. Yeah, because when I looked at the first few words of this next sentence, it said, he had worked in Russia for many years. We're talking about now Charles Cameron instead of the design of the Sophia. Oh, okay. So I felt like we were going into a completely different main idea. So I said, oh, mm -hmm. I don't give up. Now they already talk about the <laughs> Sophia Cathedral. That's right. I don't give a goddamn mm -hmm. about motherfucking Charles. Come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. I care about Sophia. So we're going to okay. look for money, 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 money. Which answer has money, 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 money in it? And it's only one. The first one. Bada beam, bada boom. And let's see. Without even looking at the other answers, let's see. Unless the Korean screwed us on this one. Boom. There mm -hmm. it is. Answer, answer. Mm -hmm. See, when you know what you're looking for. When yes. I saw expensive, I said, uh-oh. I need. I know exactly what I'm looking for in my answers. If you look at B, it talked about material. C, it talks about an architect being able to blah, 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 blah. Get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. And it talks about it being unsafe. Eliminate, elimina, eliminado. No, I'm just making up Spanish words now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there we go. Limitado, limitado, limitado. I don't even know if that's correct. But anyways. You got it. <sighs> All right. Let's go on to another one. And then we're going to go into another type of question. I love essential okay. information questions, okay? So I'm just giving you a, a good rundown in terms of what you need to be doing with the factual questions or let's just say detailed questions, right? Okay. So here we go. What happened in the mid-1800s? Now, this is very vague. Um, The mid-1800s, it's a little bit weird because me... I'm just going to look for 1800s, but down here, it says 1830s to 1840s. It doesn't say anything about the mid-1800s anywhere. Above, anywhere above, right? Mm -hmm. And so based on my location, this is that competency, right? I'm only going to look right over here and summarize this area because 1800 wasn't even mentioned anywhere. Okay. Boom. So here we go. However, in the 1830s and 1840s in Germany, many Byzantine style churches were constructed in Bavaria. Okay, churches constructed in Bavaria. Who cares? Byzantine architecture became popular. Ooh, became popular. So more churches were designed and erected in Denmark and Austria. Okay, so what happened in the 30s and the 40s? Churches were constructed in Bavaria. They became popular. More churches built in Denmark and Austria. That's what my answer should have. <clears throat> now, if we look at these answers, A says architects in Denmark and Austria. I did not see anything in terms of architects mm -hmm. in these countries. And it also says started outperforming those in Russia and Germany. There's no comparison between architectures and outperforming. A, get the fuck out of here. Okay. A large number of Byzantine revival cathedrals were built in Moscow. Uh, it does not say that in the 1830s and 1840s. Mm -hmm. See, the Byzantine style of architecture became popular in parts of Germany. Ooh, it became popular yes. in Bavaria. Yeah. See, architects traveled to Bavaria. Uh, does it say anything about people traveling? No. To see the Byzantine see. styles. Does it say anything about those architects traveling to see different types of buildings? <laughs> no. Did it, mm -hmm. <laughs> does it say, no, it doesn't say anything about that. So see, without a doubt, if this is a correct passage, C should be the answer. And sure enough, C is. Yes. That is how detailed questions work. That, that, that was okay. the first time I saw those three questions too, okay? I'm just following my competency. So regardless of how nervous you are, this or that, whatever it may be,